Hello, Dinar enthusiasts. Welcome to our channel, your premier source for the latest and most authentic news about the Iraqi dinar. If you're a dinar holder or someone interested in the dynamics of Iraq's currency, you're in the right place. Our dedicated team works tirelessly to bring you up-to-date information, expert analyses, and insider insights that you won't find anywhere else. Stay informed about significant developments, economic trends, and policy changes affecting the dinar. Today, I want to discuss an important aspect that was touched upon in a previous video but left many of us wanting more. It's about the lower denominations of currency notes and their implications. So let's dive right in. In the previous video, we explored the new higher denomination notes being introduced. It was informative and powerful, giving us a good understanding of the changes happening. However, it left a significant gap by not showing us the lower denomination notes. This omission is critical because it leaves out a major part of the currency reformation story. Now let's break this down. When you look at currency reformation or redenomination, it's not just about introducing higher value notes, it's also about the smaller denominations. The absence of lower denomination notes in the video creates a gap in our understanding. If we had seen these lower notes, it would have triggered a realization in our minds. Oh, wait a minute they're going to replace the higher denomination notes with these smaller ones. This is crucial because it signals a shift towards a more balanced and practical currency system. Let's consider why this is important. High denomination notes, like the 50,000 note, often serve specific purposes in an economy, such as facilitating large transactions. However, they can also be problematic. They can contribute to inflationary pressures and are often less practical for day-to-day -day transactions. By introducing lower denomination notes, the authorities are not just adding more notes to the system, they are strategically planning to phase out the high denomination notes. This move indicates a shift towards a more stable and manageable economy. If we had seen the lower denomination notes, our understanding of the currency reformation would be more complete. We would realize that the introduction of these notes is a clear indication of the authorities' plan to eventually remove the higher denomination notes, like the 50,000. This process is not instantaneous, but a gradual transition towards a more stable and efficient monetary system. To illustrate, let's look at some real-world examples. In several countries that have undergone currency redenomination, the introduction of lower denomination notes was a clear signal of a move towards stability. It helped curb inflation, made daily transactions easier, and increased the public's confidence in the currency. By not showing the lower denomination notes, the video missed the opportunity to provide a complete picture of the reformation process. Furthermore, the lack of information about the lower denomination notes leaves us with questions. What denominations are being introduced? How will they be distributed? What is the timeline for phasing out the higher denomination notes? These are crucial questions that need answers to fully understand the impact of the currency changes. In conclusion, while the previous video was informative, it left us lacking a full understanding of the currency reformation process. Seeing the lower denomination notes would have provided a clearer picture and helped us understand the strategic move towards replacing the higher denomination notes like the 50,000. This information is vital for grasping the broader economic implications and the future direction of the currency system. So what do you think about this strategic shift towards lower denomination notes? Do you believe it's a move towards economic stability? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on this topic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.